everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I have a new tutorial to share with you. We'll be using the June 2017 paper pumpkin kit and we're going to be creating a stinking cute jellyfish card. Also, later on in the video, I'm going to be announcing the winner of the May 2017 My Monthly Hero kit by Hero Arts. Okay, so here's a quick shot of that card that we're going to create and hopefully you'll stick around and watch the tutorial. Uh, first thing we're going to be doing is creating the legs for the jellyfish. So I just grabbed that stamp set, stretched it out on the acrylic block, and uh, I stamped the Emerald Envy ink spot from the kit on one side and then the Melon Mumbo on the other. And uh, I'm kind of swiping on it, not stamping directly because you want to see some white spaces because uh, jellyfish is kind of translucent. Okay, so we're going to cut around the legs and just leave a white border and then we'll just curve around the bottom part of the legs there and we're probably gonna shorten up those legs anyway. Okay and then with the watermelon stamp we're just gonna flip it over on the other side so that we can stamp a solid half a circle and with the melon mumbo we're just gonna uh, lay some ink on that and then with a paper towel I just kind of dabbed around the edges for the first stamp and then the second stamp I put some more on and then did the same thing but then this time I did lay some Emerald Envy along the edges and then the last thing I did was one more stamp of the Melon Mambo just to intensify the head a bit more and make it a bit bolder. Okay and then fussy cut the head out also. Okay, now we need some googly eyes. And without having to rummage through my stash, I decided to use the double E on the sweet sentiment. And so I just stamped that out using soft sky. And then I'm just going to fussy cut the shape out. One is kind of bigger than the other and they do kind of somewhat look googly. <laughs> so with a fine tip black marker. Draw an eye on each one of those pieces. And I could have used the black stamp and write marker, but I found the color wasn't quite bold enough. Anyway, I'm just going to glue the two eyes on the center of the jellyfish. And uh, I think he looks pretty stinking cute. <laughs> and this is where I decided that I'm going to shorten up his legs. I think it looks just a little bit too long for my liking. So we're just going to curve those bottom parts of the leg. And then I'm also going to clean up my uh, little white edges there a little bit more. And this is where I decided that I didn't like that little white spot right in the center there. At the time when I was creating it, it bugged me, but as I was creating the video, I didn't even notice it. But I figured I'd just leave that little bit uh, in the video. So I'm just uh, stamped to cover up that white spot and then reattach the head. Okay, so now we're going to move on. Uh, this is a Island Indigo panel, which is four and a quarter by five and a half, and then a piece of the watermelon. Uh, bag that I cut at four inches by five and a quarter and also a piece of vellum at the same size and then using tempting turquoise and a dauber sponge dauber I'm just going to draw or stamp the uh, line somewhat tracing the darker part of that watermelon piece there behind it and uh, that way we have something a little more bluer opposed to a green background because I wanted this panel to look a little more blue uh, for like under the water. Okay and then at the bottom there I decided just to fill in just a little bit there just so that it doesn't look like there's too like too stripey. Okay and so I also decided just to add a little bit shading on the side there. Now I did hit this with my heat tool but I was so afraid that I'd warp it so I didn't heat it too much, uh, but I did wipe the top part of the panel just a little bit to um, make that color just a little more faint. And for good measure, I did hit it again with my heat gun, but it's still shiny. So 
what I did was I did, I did leave it overnight because it was just taking a little too long to dry and I figured I'll just wait for the next day. Now there is a dull side and then there's a more darker side. And so on the dull side, which, which the side that has no ink, I put some adhesive on that, but I put it across the bottom there. And later on, you're going to notice that I'm going to re remove some of the adhesive because it was really showing up. So it wasn't too hard to remove though. Those are the dies that we're going to be using to create the circle on the front of this panel for the shaker card. But I think we can just get away with using the regular circle dies instead of one stitch die. Uh, I did die cut one out of white cardstock to create that white border. So we're going to need that little piece with the white border and then that piece, that vellum piece on the left for the inside of the shaker card. Here is where I noticed the line of adhesive. So I'm just kind of rubbing off parts where it's showing, which is the lighter parts uh, on that panel. So it looks a lot better now. And then with a piece of acetate that I cut out, I'm just going to glue it on the back of this panel. And uh, once I'm done that, I'm going to glue the white border piece on the front. And really at this stage, I didn't really know what I was going to do for the shaker card. So it was kind of a last minute, but I know that I wanted to get uh, a nice border on this panel here. And this is what I decided to do. The piece that came off the first or from pan from this this front panel here, the vellum piece, I decided that I'm just gonna put that on the back, and uh, that way it's got a slight contrasting color, and uh, it somewhat will look a little bit darker, so it won't look all blended together with the front panel. And because this panel is kind of flimsy, I decided that I'm going to just load it up with some foam tape I use some sequins from my stash I believe the sequins here is actually retired by Stampin' Up but I'd use something a little more brighter and a little more cheerful <laughs> the lights actually make these sequins look a little dark so they're actually a lot nicer in person Okay, and then with the Hero Arts Unicorn White Pigment Ink, I took a cap off of the Stampin' Right marker. One end is bigger than the other, so I'm going to create some underwater bubbles. And I should have done that this part before I put the foam tape on, so I completely forgot. But it's okay because the foam tape is pretty firm and... Uh, it worked out just fine. Okay, and again, the pigment ink took a couple of hours to dry. I didn't want to hit it with my heat gun because I didn't want to warp the panel, so I waited for that to dry. And just threw a bit of powder on that acetate there, just so that the sequence don't go flying as soon as I put the panel towards it. And I did throw some metallic sequence from Stampin' Up! That's still available. So that part is done for the shaker card. And now we're just going to create a couple of more uh, elements for the card. So I'm just going to grab another bag from the kit and we're just going to cut some long little strips, which is going to be like long underwater uh, plants that we're going to create. So just create three of these. I cut out like one darker one and then two with the lighter colors. And for these three pieces, when it's all said and done, I actually ended up cutting the size or the length of these uh, about half of that size. So the longest piece came out to about three and a half inches. So I just kind of kept hacking away uh, at that trio there because I wanted to make, I wanted to make sure I had enough space for this hope sentiment from the Sunshine Wishes die set. Okay, and as much as I wanted to use the fern die, <laughs> I really held back. 
And so I, I'm going to use the stickers from the kit. And we're just going to lay one of those ferns down over top of the window. And then we'll stick our trio of long underwater leaves down. And then one more of the fern over top. Now using the Blossom Builder Punch, I really wanted some, uh, what are those things called? Uh, underwater starfish. <laughs> and so I just scribbled it on a piece of, uh, scribbled crumb cake, stamp and write marker on a white piece of cardstock. And then I punched it out with that punch. And then I also shaded the edges with crumb cake, but I think chocolate chip would have been better. And then I also uh, used Early Espresso just to intensify the details. And then I raised it with foam tape just to cover up the bottom part of that plant. And then I also foam taped the jellyfish. All right. And then I also foam taped the Hope Sentiment. All right. So all the elements are done and then I did put it on a top folding card base at four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. So that's our shaker card. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. It's by no means a quick card to make but I hope it inspired you. Okay so now for the fun stuff. <laughs> the winner of the May 2017 My Monthly Hero kit is winner winner chicken dinner. Joan Maddie, hope I pronounced your name correctly. Congratulations. Please PM me with your mailing details and I'll have that out to you as soon as possible. I'd like to thank everyone for playing along and also leaving all your wonderful comments. Stick around, I may have more giveaways in the future. Thanks so much for joining me today. Bye for now. <music>